Yo, what's up guys? Um welcome back to another video. Anyways, um you guys might be wondering why am I not playing Scrucid and stuff? Well, now you see down here, my internet is giving problems. So what this video is mainly about is how I optimize my computer. It's like I'm recording on this is what I'm recording on right now. And it's very smooth like look at my RAM and stuff. And this is like my usage right now, like 15% CPU usage, um, 13% memory, and my this. Like, I'm not even using anything really. Like, look at my internet, bro. Like, what is this? Um, so as you, can, you guys can see, it's going up and down and up and down. I mean, computer anyways, but it does run Scrucid very well. I run Scrucid at, I don't know, 10, 24 by 726. Wait. 728 i mean um and i got i was running on 7 graphics and i got um 60 fps like it's, it's just capped there i didn't use the fps on that because i didn't feel like when i put it on 10 it was on what's it called again it was on 30 no it was on 50 to 40 fps going to 6 this is not even a gaming cpu like it's not even that good and at the same time i'm using eight gigs of ram i'm using an hard drive and it's not a C um, ssd it's not an ssd so you guys can just keep that in your head it's not an ssd and it's re running very smooth so what i do is go down here you can right click and press on run or you can just go down here and type in run and as you can see this is what shows up so what you do is type then click ok or you can just click enter but i will click ok then after this thing loads up right here you're gonna want to click on boot I say click on no GUI boot, it boots much more faster and put this on 5 if you're on a low end system but if you're on like a good gaming system, a good C PC or a laptop, you can put it on 3. Um, so after you right here, you click on advanced options, then you click on this. It would be on like 1 or 2 but just put it to the maximum number possible. So I put it on 4 and then click on OK, apply, OK, and that's it. This message will be shown and you want to click on exit without restart. It is to right click on your taskbar and click on task manager. I'm on our old windows. Um, so after that showed up, go ahead to start up and I will say to disable everything here that you're not using. So if you're not using the, these things, if you guys don't know what you, you, like, if you don't want anything that's launched when you're launching up your computer, you don't see these things load up yet or nothing down here, it's because of these things. things. So if you guys don't know what are these things, like, don't disable them. Like, you can just right click on them, enable, disable, yeah. You can just disable whatever you're not using right now at the time. So yeah, that's another tip. Just to go into settings then go over to privacy and turn off all these things so i don't want these things i just turn off everything inside here even my location i'm not using this thing i don't know why it's showing right now but i disable all these things because i'm not using i'm not using any location thing on my computer and it just takes up a lot of cpu usage and it's not good i use the camera so i would say leave this um open i use the microphone i don't use this account info yep contact contacts turn it off i'm not using those the calendar yeah I, i'm using it um my time is wrong by the way um messages um i don't use those things um radio i don't use it also other devices i don't have any other devices connected to mine i don't know why this is on but yeah let me just turn these off real quick i don't use any other devices like other pc 
uh, monitors um tablet or phone i don't i don't it's not connected to here and i i'm not going to do that anyways let's call take this off feedback why frequency um i'll put that on never put this on basic i i have an app that um disable gets the best settings for me so i would say disable all those things and even all these things these things like running in your background when you're not using them and it takes up a lot of cpu usage and memory usage at the same time so my memory is going down as i'm disabling this thing Cap. so if i just right click click clean memory it drops um i will just disable all these things okay so after you finish with ever disabling all these things that you're not using and stuff i would say go to display notification and actions and disable all these things all notifications and stuff like if you don't want these things popping up on your screen like update this update that well it does still pop up on my screen and stuff it, it just only comes on my screen like if it's still my, that my antivirus is off and stuff and that's what i like um go down to apps and features and go down to the bottom and just delete any apps that you're not using like i'm using this um i don't know what the heck is this so i'm not gonna disable that i know what is this it's my internet um connection wi-fi thing imaging um windows dvd i'm not using the dvd why is this never mind um i use this this is one of the app that boosts your um your fps and a lot of stuff Th this this um boosts my my disk and my memory and my cpu at the same time it, it boosts a lot so i would say go ahead and download this i will give you like some links to some videos that i watch in order to boost my computer multitasking multitasking this is like if you have a lot of desktops like if you have like you have one monitor and you have another monitor um i would say leave these on i'm not using another monitor so i don't know why this thing is right here if you're using like three monitors or so i would say keep these on but i'm not you are two but if you're not using any more than one just turn these off and put only the desk that i'm using for the both of these tablet mode i'm not using tablet it's not the screen i'm hitting the screen oh my gosh my laptop fell um battery life remaining wait it's using my battery right now oh it's not plugged in Oof. um i'm gonna plug that in as soon as possible maybe it's that's why my memory and stuff is very low but um power and sleep yeah never storage offline maps i'm not using offline maps so good default apps like what you want for your apps and stuff i don't care um this is my specs um yep so go after you finish with that i'll say go down to here um go to background um your your will be yours will be on like picture or something like so i would say turn it over to a solid color um i use on uh this kind of purplish color that looks kind of good to me not to everyone but yeah i use that color and for the other colors over here i would say turn off the transparent um taskbar and start up and stuff if you keep this on like you can see like the background of this and stuff and it, it does it does um reduce um performance and stuff i say start colors and stuff nah i would disable i i don't really care if i don't know but that's okay i i don't mind using Mm, let me i'll just use it my guy it's okay to use that um lock screen a photo if you have a like a photo that um that is solid you can use it also but and uh when when i'm starting up my thing it doesn't show this for some reason but what anyways turn off get fun facts tips tricks and more on your lock screen and turn it off themes 
nothing there start turn off all these calls these things just show up when you start up your screen and it does take a lot of your cpu usage away from you and yeah go to go to devices go down to your mouse and touchpad i say go down to additional mouse options um go to here turn off this high performance just follow what i'm doing it, it surely helps you as you guys can see that my computer is very fast and smooth right now um click on apply okay so, yeah you can keep this on turn this off turn this off um and yeah that's it for in settings for number two now go down you can right click down here and click on control panel or you can just go down here to the the search window search type in control um I'll say go down to ease um optimize visual display click on that um scroll down to where it says um turn off all unnecessary anime um animations when possible turn it on it does boosts your fps if you turn off remove background images that mean you're not gonna have any photos in the background but i just keep it on on this you click apply then you go back to the control panel up here and go down to system security um system the advanced system settings um go to performance visual effects processors um schedule memory usage and virtual memory click on settings adjust for best performance if you want the best performance to advance click on programs virtual memory click on change you're gonna see this ticked you're gonna take untick this real quick gonna click on the um if you're if it's a hard drive you can go ahead and keep on watching but if it's not an s if it's not on hard drive it's an ssd i would say don't um do any any of these steps because it's not gonna help your ssd it's just gonna slow it down so for hard drive gonna right click on your hard drive um click on system like what your windows is on you're gonna click on system manage size and you're gonna click on set for these now like your computer can come with putting on no paging file and click set no paging um file and click set and okay okay apply okay okay and you're gonna actually restart just click it later because later on we're gonna restart our computer to see how fast it is and yeah click on later anyways so after that is over you can go ahead and click on system and security up here or you can just reopen on um, control panel and security then right here you click on power options all right you're gonna see like balance and power saver i would say hit down this drop the menu like it says um show other additional plans you can click on this um i would say go on high performance so you click on high performance um click change plan settings put these on never um change wait never yeah click on change this thing what's it called again change advanced power settings um just um put on my settings Okay, after you finish with doing that, you can click on apply, okay, save changes, and that's it. Um, so after that is finished, or if you don't see a high performance, you can like go over here and click on create, um, what's it called again? Create power plan, you can click on high performance, you can name this ultimate per my guy yeah so you can type that in and click on next create 
then like that's it but I'm not gonna do that so I'm just gonna delete this thing I just prefer the high performance thing so guys um if that really helps you like boosting your FPS and stuff um I will make a part 2 to this because my internet is not working right now and I have some things in like chrome and stuff that you guys can go ahead and download um like mem memory redux and uh, which site is better and timer resolution also bro why did i accidentally sh oh my gosh oh yeah it's running and task and task yeah I, I knew that i clicked it all right and for this last step i think it's the last step you're gonna go down here to graphics properties so guys after you right inside of here guys i would say go over here this is for um intel um graphics by the way it's not for amd i don't i don't have an amd um com um laptop or computer so i would say if you have an amd i would support of the video is not for you and yeah so for the intel now i would say go to, go to 3d after you click on 3d this thing is gonna show up it's gonna be unbalanced and it's gonna be like this so guys what you're gonna do is go over here to override application settings make sure that it's on this um put it on performance click apply yes go back to here at home now you can go ahead and go right over to power then you're gonna see this thing says um, maximum performance make sure that it's ticked um go on on battery you're gonna see yours on this like this i would say go ahead and put this to maximum performance disable this disable this then click on apply yes some of yours is gonna be go back onto um balance mode which you should put it back on performance then click on apply and yes so guys that's really it for intel graphics this pc Click on this, then and you're gonna see this um, shows up on your screen. If you have an, a hard drive, this is gonna work for a hard drive. Don't do this for your SSD because it's not gonna help your SSD. I'm telling you guys, I am warning you guys so you don't make any mistakes or this hurts your PC or anything. I don't want any trouble and I don't want any damage to happen to your SSD because I don't have an SSD and I don't know if it works for an SSD. So guys, I would say if you have an SSD, don't do it. Don't take the risk either. It's not, I don't think it's going to work for yours, so don't go ahead and do it. So when you you right click on your, high, your hard drive, you're going to click on properties, click on tools, click on optimize, then you're going to see all these things right here. Hard drive this, hard disk drive, hard disk drive, hard disk drive, hard disk drive. These are all my disk drives. So I would say like go ahead and click on optimize. Um, it's gonna run and it's gonna take a while. Depends on how big your um your hard drive is. My one is one terabyte, so it's gonna take for a long a long time. I already defragged mine, so my one is maybe gonna take like less time than it's supposed to take. If you have a hard um 500 gig, it's gonna take um it's gonna take less time and for 250 less time and the lower yeah less time. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up real quick so I meet you when this is over. Alright guys, as you guys can see, it's finally optimized, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and optimize these other, done. So that's all you needed to do, and then you click on, wait, if you have any drive errors and you're not sure if your computer is like, if it's sticking or something, or like something is wrong, you can go ahead and click on this, click scan drives,
time I update my Windows, it's just so laggy and my FPS drops like by 50, which is very annoying. So like if I'm getting 70 FPS in Zone Wars, it's going to be 20. If I have um 100 FPS in Zone Wars, I'm gonna have 50. Yeah, it's very annoying. Why didn't I create a risk build point at the, um, the starting of the video? The reason is why because I am. Um, I know that this is gonna work and if you see this comes up like if this comes up on your screen saying that oh it's finished scanned or whatever that means your computer is okay your drive is okay and you can click close okay and like that's it for your file manager